I'm uh, Jukka Pekka Laakso. I work for Tampere Film Festival in Finland, and my title is Festival Director, which means that I am one of the persons who is in charge of the, uh, the programmation, but also I have to worry about the other stuff, the, the real world behind the first festival, financing and so on. So I run a film festival. Uh, that's a tough one because I'm still, I was like raised in front of a television, so my memories are really from television. And for some reason, I kind of have memories of not Disney actually, or, or something, or, or Bugs Bunny, but Mr. Magoo, which is uh, nowadays not that well known. And uh, those sort of struck me for some strange reason. And uh, afterwards, when I've looked them, I have found that they are actually kind of anarchistic compared to, to other animations of the era. So uh, I think Mr. Magoo is one of the, the earliest memories. Well, I've been asked uh, quite a few times uh, to name some short films that have affected me and, and, and uh, or make a list of my, let's say, uh, favorite short films. And actually Creature Comforts by Ardman is definitely on that list because uh, at the time uh, it came out I was uh, already working for Tampere Film Festival which is more years than I care to remember and uh, I was uh, working uh, as a doorman, or actually the head of doorman, which was really nice because it gave me a, an opportunity to actually see almost everything that was shown there and at the festival. And I still remember the, uh, let's say, the, the, the shock of, of creature comforts because I could see that this is something completely different, even though there were other, other uh, animations made with the same technique, but there was something that they captured with the sounds and uh, the, also with the, uh, the, let's say, adult uh, approach, because it's, it's, it's very witty and, and uh, at the same time all things. So that is one of my favorite animations. Yeah, it's, it's uh, in a way, because I'm not a filmmaker, never made a film in my life. I just exploit filmmakers at the festival. But uh, it's rather a film where I sort of go on my knees, because I think that how on earth someone can be, had, had this kind of vision and imagination to create something like this, which I never could do. And that's why I wouldn't waste my time trying to do a film because I couldn't do anything even close to that. So there's just the admiration of, of that. And of course, uh, thinking of, of, of working with, with anything to do with Artman afterwards has like, I thought that that must be fun, but uh, never sort of dreamed about that. Uh, kind of, it's, it's uh, what led me to this, why I'm here in a way, is, is because I seem to be in the right place at the right moment and have enthusiasm to cinema. So I, I was, when I was at school, I uh, was at film clubs, which were really important and big at that time in, in, in Finland and in my hometown, Tampere. And uh, I always, at least, other people think that I have this kind of organizational skills. So I ended up running a, a, a film club. And then that led to, to writing some film criticism because I was asked to do that. And uh, then that led to the film festival and, and so on. So uh, of course I, I wanted to do this when I had the opportunity, but actually I didn't like dream about this it just uh, happened. Uh, that's really tricky one because uh, there's so many ways to, to do uh, short films so that uh, it's difficult to, to say because there are 
some fiction films, some documentaries, some animated films, and some that are really in between all these uh, genres. That, that I find that they are so good that, that uh, they are just above the others. But it really changes from time to time. There is, if I really am tortured to, to, to answer that question, I usually pick up a Swedish film <laughs> made about 15 years ago, uh, Glory of Life is the name of the film, which is a really tough film. Uh, but uh, there are so many others, and, and uh, every year there's, there's films that, that really stuck in my mind forever. And uh, actually when it comes to animated films, I think that is really exciting nowadays, because especially when, when there's a, a, a trend of mixing different techniques, then the animation really has again stepped a step further because it has been used in a very, very good way on, on uh, documentaries and fiction as a part of, of creating something that other methods of filmmaking can't do. And uh, this kind of hybrid film, which you can't really determine, I think that's great because I kind of hate the, the idea that you have to sort of box everything into to one genre because everything is the cinema, the method of doing is different. Yeah, this is my first time. I've been uh, meaning to come for, for, for many a year because uh, I I'm sort of have been invited, but unfortunately uh, for at least two or three years there was like serious plans, but then I got uh, an offer I couldn't or wouldn't refuse from another festival for like being in a jury or something so so I had to postpone it but I'm really really glad to be here finally and uh, I have good friends working for the festival I know them quite well and uh, also finally to to go to watershed because also heard of so much good about watershed and it is really really an excellent place for for cinema and, and other activities Well, uh, as I'm in the jury, I actually have been seeing the competition films, which is always uh, a case of its own. So I'm mostly, when I go to film festivals, I actually want to see the things that I didn't know that existed. So I, I go and I, sometimes I go and see films that I've heard about or know, retrospectives and so on. But uh, the beauty of, of short films is its capability of surprise. Uh, so usually what I do is that I, I see films that I don't know, so that, that there's this element of, of uh, finding something new. And uh, again, in the jury, you have to do that. So, so I'm happy to, to actually do that. But uh, I actually do look forward to of, of seeing uh, tonight's special event when they show a Soviet uh, silent film, science fiction film, Ailita, which is accompanied by a Finnish band, which is a very strange band if you see them, called Cleaning Women, because they actually did the same thing years ago in Tampere, and Tampere was actually the first place they did this, and they've been touring with the, the film quite a lot in I think also outside Europe and uh, because at my own festival I never see any of these programs, great programs or great films because I have other things to do so uh, I'm really glad that now I have the possibility of seeing something I missed years ago in Tampere. <laughs> <laughs>